what's going on everybody <clears throat> so it's about 2 a.m. right now about 2 o'clock in the morning I have to get up in less than six hours to teach a boxing class I'm gonna have about 20 students in this boxing class about 20 people and I love it it's good it's all good I'm not upset that I can't sleep but I have a lot on my mind that I'm going to talk to y'all about something that's been on my mind lately, especially tonight. That's why I'm making a video at 2 in the fucking morning when I should be sleeping. But um, a lot of people, most people, the vast majority of people, based on my experience, they think boxing and kickboxing and martial arts, things like that are so easy. They think They think that only the poor do it they think that people who are less intelligent less intellectual pursue these kind of endeavors they think that people who want to learn how to hit things and fight and defend themselves are somehow less I mean I mean like I said they're less intellectual they're less intelligent they're poor they got nothing better to do but hit something <laughs> but then but then I teach a class of 20 people and out of these 20 people that most likely think that a professional fighter is probably less intelligent than the average person they think that that a fighter is stupid when they themselves these people that take my boxing classes my kickboxing classes my striking classes lessons whatever you want to call them private group whatever they look ridiculous hitting a punching bag. They look ridiculous hitting mitts. They look ridiculous sparring. Because they don't know how to move their body. They don't know how to they don't they don't know how to mentally deal with getting hit. They don't know how to mentally deal with hitting another person. They don't know how to mentally compute uh uh, uh executing these striking techniques that only idiots know how to do, right? Get what I'm saying? Last Sunday, about a week ago, I went to downtown DC with my lady, with my beautiful woman, Ana Yi. And we went to see this documentary in a theater um, called McQueen. And it was about this guy. He was an he was an Englishman. Uh, Englishman. His name was Ale uh, Pardon me. His name was Lee Alexander McQueen. And he was a revolutionary fashion designer. Now I'll be honest. Throughout the years, and even today. I don't really get fashion. I don't really get the whole fashion industry. I don't I don't like what's what's the point? Like like you're walking on a stage wearing something that nobody will ever wear on the street and you're making all this money and you're all pretentious about it. You're you, you spend your life making clothes for people which they're not really for pragmatic use. It's it's more for aesthetic. It's more for art. And there's so much money in it. There's so much money in popularity and fame and recognition in fashion. But up until I saw this documentary, you know, I I felt that way. And then and then as I was watching this documentary called McQueen, it was it was very good. It was about this guy, this fashion designer, like I said, from England. It talked about his 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 beginnings in the fashion industry, how he how he started off sewing fucking jackets. Like that was his thing. He started sewing jackets. And then he ended up as the literally the like one of the most revolutionary fashion designers ever in human history. Like in fact, people still copy his shit from the day. And it was almost two hours long. And at the end of it, I'm like, holy shit, this is this is one interesting dude. And he didn't even like being famous. He he just liked what he did. He he liked his art. His his art form. He liked sewing jackets. He liked making new concepts of clothing. Of of uh, clothing. Pardon me. 
And as the days have gone on and as I've thought about what I saw at the movie and, you know, as I think about what I'm doing in my life and as I as I listen to the people that I that I'm around, you know, and throughout the years I've experienced people saying that boxers and fighters and kickboxers and martial artists are people who are generally intellectually insufficient so therefore they do something more physical and then in my life I've said people who do things like fashion namely fashion are silly it's it's dumb it doesn't make any sense blah 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 but yet there's so much popularity there's so much money there's so much interest in it amongst most people amongst a lot of people and what I've come to realize is that at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, art is art. Whether it's music, whether it's on a canvas, whether it's via clothing on a, on a fucking model, art is art. Art, art is the expression of oneself. It's the expressions of one emo, uh, pardon me. It's the expression of one's emotions. And the cool thing about human beings is that we are capable of expressing ourselves on many different platforms me me personally i would consider myself somebody to be competent and striking like like i'm a pretty good striker like i'm good at i'm pretty good at punching people in the face i'll be honest um you know i'm good at i'm good at hitting things in a skilled manner I'm very good un, unbeknownst to a lot of you I'm I'm very good at playing drums I'm very good at, at, at percussion and rhythm and I'm also a good painter and I'm a good artist like drawing and painting things and that's a way of expressing my, my inner self to the rest of the world that's a, a way to express my inner self to, 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 to myself I'm also into uh, you know not not that I do them nowadays, but I'm into things like introspective drugs. Like I, I, I really enjoy things like ketamine and LSD and you know ayahuasca, DMT, and psilocybin mushrooms. I don't really do psychedelics anymore, but I mean that's a way that I could really like learn more about myself. And I guess the whole point of this video is is to just to tell anybody that's watching is that regardless of your art form whether it's martial arts whether it's spray painting graffiti whether it's drawing a fucking piece of paper drawing on a piece of paper whether it's writing stories or journalism or what anything like that man express yourself throughout all of my psychedelic trips like I've done ayahuasca 11 times in my life I've done it 11 times more than most people will ever do I've done mushrooms plenty of times I've dropped acid countless times and the fundamental truth that I've learned throughout all of these psychedelic ventures have been one thing and that's express yourself what I don't care how it is maybe you have only one way to express yourself maybe you have ten ways to express yourself but regardless of what it is or what it's not you need to express yourself in a, in a way that is applicable to you and that's something that I've learned. That's something that, something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. Even at 2 a.m. when I need to, when when I have to get up in a few hours to go work for the entire day and night, I'm not going to sleep much tonight. But I'm trying to make this video to help you guys. You know, there's there's been a lot of times where I've you know where I haven't not had respect for somebody's art form. Because I didn't, you know, because I wasn't into it. Well, that, well, that's stupid. And I'm here to say that, like, it's dumb. And there's been plenty of times where people have not respected my art form. Have not expected my way of expressing myself. Especially when it comes to, to striking and martial arts. Because they themselves cannot do it. Most people cannot punt, throw a punch. Believe it or not, like people think it's so easy, but there's so many small little details in the throwing a proper punch. You 
you would have no idea how off you are on that. Anyways, I think I've made my point. Respect other people's art form, even if it's not something that you're into. Even if it's not something that you're able to do. Just, just, just because you cannot do it doesn't mean it's stupid. Like, uh, like duh, right? Duh. Um, and that's really all I have to say in this video. Look, I mean, I know I haven't put out a video in over a week now. But it's because I have had nothing to talk about that I'm passionate about. I've been getting plenty of emails on a daily basis. But my heart has not been in them. It has not been into it. Because I've already talked about it. This is something new that I haven't really talked about. And believe you me, when I go to Mexico in a few months, I will be putting out videos on a regular basis. But for right now, man, I'm making money. I'm hustling. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not sleeping a lot, but I'm working a lot, and I'm making money. I'm saving up. I'm putting it away in the bank. I'm, I'm, I'm living a healthy life. You know, I'm in a good relationship, man. Things are good. And I want to thank everybody for still watching my channel. And if you guys do have any video suggestions that I have not spoken on before. If you have a problem in your life, if you want me to make an advice video for you, man, I'd be more than happy to do that. Shoot me an email, guys. No joke striking at gmail.com. Bitches. <laughs> I still have to do it, man. All of that is in the description box below. Also, you guys can like my shit on Facebook, guys. www.facebook.com slash no joke Howard. All that is in the box below, man. Hope everyone... Hope everyone has a good night, morning, evening, whatever it is. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's wrong. And keep expressing yourself the way you want to. I don't care how it is. Martial arts, graffiti, piercings, sex, drugs. I believe that the purpose of this life is to express yourself the way you feel on the inside. And if you don't do that, then you're doing a huge disservice to yourself and the world. So keep that in mind, you guys. Peace.